Well, countries across Europe are reporting record high temperatures too, and wildfires are spreading across the continent in places, forcing people to flee their homes. Firefighters are fighting blazes in France, Spain, Portugal, Greece, Croatia and Morocco in Africa. Experts have blamed climate change and the constant rise in the Earth's temperature for the increasingly arid and dry summers. In France, over 16,000 people have been evacuated from a southwestern part of the country. Officials have raised an alert for potential record heat for many French cities. It's really these levels of vigilance beyond the records already set. Suddenly they coincide and it's normal with temperature records because they show that we are in a totally unusual situation for the people of the departments concerned. But there is also this strong expected health impact which has been noted in the past, which has been calibrated with the health and safety authorities and which therefore really means that we expect a particularly intense heat, not a common summer heat wave. Around 20 wildfires are burning at present in Spain and have claimed the lives of several firefighters. Temperatures have gone over 40 degrees Celsius in several parts of the country. Over 3,000 people were evacuated from the Mijas Hills and parts of Catalonia. It's still very worrying to see that as soon as the wind picks up the next day, lots of little hot spots start on fire again and it's uh, it's nerve-wracking but it's uh, it's really good to see that the professionals are, are on the case but also worrying that I hear that they're starting to run out of water in different places for the helicopters to to collect and to, to spread so they're having to go further and further away from the fire each time to collect the water. Portugal remains on high alert although temperatures have dropped somewhat the fires there, now contained, have killed two and injured around 60 people. Well, let's go live now to our correspondent, Rosie Burchard, who's joining me live from Paris. Uh, Rosie, what's the uh, weather forecast saying for the next few days in France? Any sign of respite? Well, only few people braving the streets of Paris today, most inside with the shutters closed, a few tourists on the top deck of the tourist bus. But really, Paris streets, many of them empty as people are taking shelter from these temperatures, which may break records in part of the country. Here in Paris, temperatures set to reach up to 39 degrees here today and to peak on on Tuesday before for before they descend that is a similar story in other parts of the country and the part most affected as you mentioned is the southwest of the country in the Gironde region where thousands of firefighters have been battling blazes thousands of residents and tourists have been evacuated and operations have been underway to help residents get back in with firefighter escorts to for example rescue their pets so some really dramatic scenes unfolding there in southwestern France and thousands Thousands of hectares of forest scorched within a matter of days. So the country's uh, the country's weather agency has now put 15 of France's regions on a red alert with the health ministry reminding people who feel vulnerable, the older people and those with medical conditions, that they can call a national helpline for help and they can also try to, to draw on those measures that we heard before, t staying hydrated, staying cool. So France very much looking toward a peak uh, tomorrow on Tuesday and those similar practical implications also unfolding. Many disruptions across the country's rail network and many people simply staying at home in order to try and avoid the worst of this heat. But of course, let's not forget some people have to work outside. Construction workers, for example, and health ministry trying to, uh, to suggest that those workers should take even greater care to stay hydrated, to stay in the shade where possible as these temperatures just soar. Rosie, thank you. That's Rosie Burchard reporting live from Paris.